Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Aubrey and today is going to be an interesting video. I debated whether to do this video or not, but I have decided that I'm going to go in a little bit of a different direction with my channel. I'm still going to be sharing all my wax, but I need to do a Scentsy Use It Up project and I need to hold myself accountable. So I'm going to do a series. It will probably be a very long series. Um, yeah, so this morning I finished sorting my bars between my old bars and my newer bars and you know that it's an older bar because it doesn't have any of the emblems on the bottom and the newer ones have all of the scent categories in the emblems so i just finished counting my bars, my old bars. So these are bars that are over two years old. So I think I'll still get good performance. I always keep them in a dark, cool space. But during this journey, I'm gonna probably share with you guys if I'm getting good performance or not. So this is gonna be an interesting project to use it up. So in total, I have 554 old bars. I know, I know, I apparently have a problem. So I thought about cataloging them all and doing a long video. And then I thought, well, by the time I get them all cataloged, it'll be like next year. So I've decided that I'm just going to go in alphabetical order of what I have, and I'm going to start with A. So, um, and then I will do a separate melting basket just on my project to use it up. So, and I'll keep you guys informed of where I'm at and how I'm doing. So the first thing that I wanted to do is share with you scents that I have that are currently in the catalog. So we're going to start with apple and cinnamon sticks. And the scent notes on this are, so this is, this is in the spice category and it's one of Scentsy's best sellers. Um, it's apple peel, spiced white pumpkin, and a touch of oak. And that smells really good. So, um, like I said, I'm not going to go into much detail at this point. Um, I will start warming these and then I will do like a weekly what I got through and we'll count down my bars. And I'll also let you know because there's some scents that I have multiples of. So if I don't like it, I'm just going to start giving away my bars so other people can enjoy them as well. So the next one is apple cherry strudel. And the scent notes on this are Granny Smith apple, cherry, and vanilla. I'm sorry. Let me start over on that one. Granny Smith apple, cherry, and vanilla drizzle insist on dessert first. And this is so sweet. This is so lovely. So I'm I'm looking forward to melting that. If I remember, it doesn't last very long, but we'll see. The next one is Arctic Kiss. And this is in the fresh category. And the scent notes on this is cool Arctic mint and fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds. And I have melted this before. Ugh, it's 
So like I could melt this year round. I don't think this is necessarily just a fall winter scent, but it's in the catalog. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Okay. This next one, I have two of these is around the campfire. And this is in the woods collection. So the set notes are make some memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help set the scene. So I struggle with this bar. Um, many people have told me to mix fruit with it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, this, this is straight up campfire. So I don't know. Every time I've tried to do it on its own, it's it's so strong. So I'm I'm going to I'm going to play around with that and if I come up with any mixes to make that tolerable, I will let you know. The next one and I have three bars of this is Autumn Hearth. And this is in the spice category. And this is cue up a classic. Apple, cinnamon, and tonka are all about fall. And this just, this scent smells like straight up fall. So I am very excited to warm that. The next one that we have, I only have one of these, is Autumn Road Trip. And this is in the, this is in the fruity category and the scents are take a tour through Chris Harvest Apple, just pick on your pear in a forest of towering silver oak. And this is, it's very sweet, um, sweet and oaky. So that will, that will definitely be an interesting one to melt. Okay. So the last one in that's currently in the catalog and I have two bars of that is Autumn Sunset and Autumn Sunset is apples pumpkin fall leaves and spices and it says a top 10 fragrance but it doesn't say bestseller so wow spices like that's like super strong on the cinnamon. So I'm interesting to see if that is super strong when I melt that. Okay, now for the scents that I have that are currently not available. Um, I'm sorry to even be showing you guys these, but um, they're in my collection. So I'm, I'm, I'm showing it all and I'm gonna get through this. So the first one is A Dance of Autumn from the Disney Frozen 2 collection. And the notes on this is fresh notes of apple float on the wind through forest woods, conjuring the spirits of swirling leaves. Oh, that's really nice. It's sweet. It's like, if you're familiar with the candle from Bath and Body Words works, it's like a really sweet version of that. So I'm excited to melt that. You know, one of the things of actually forcing myself to go through my collection instead of just continuing to ignore it and keep buying is like I'm finding some really neat scents that I forgot I had in my collection. So hopefully I, uh, I have maybe one or two bars from some of these that I really like. The next one is apple and oats. 
And the notes on this are rich buttery oats, caramelized apples, and warm hints of cinnamon that can straight from a farmhouse kitchen. Yep, that smells like oatmeal. Like that totally smells like oatmeal. With maybe just a little bit of sugar sprinkled in with your apples. Um, this is going to be interesting. Okay, the next one, and I have two bars of this. Two bars. Um, this is almond croissant. And the notes on this is a fresh baked croissant is made even more heavily with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almonds. Oh, that's really good. Mm, that like that literally smells like a buttery croissant. Whew, I don't know why I didn't like melt this sooner. Well, that's why I'm going through my collection, right? And then the last one that I have that's currently not available is apple s'mores. And the notes on this are harvest apples, cinnamon glaze, and a drop of coconut milk lend a tantalizing twist to classic marshmallow, vanilla cream, and warm sandalwood. Oh wow, that's really good. Like you can, I smell the apples and the marshmallow and just like a hint of sandalwood. That is really nice. Ooh, I'm excited to warm those. So yeah. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 bars out of 554. So I got a long ways to go. And um, like I said, I just decided to go in alphabetical order. If anybody has any suggestions to help me get through this massive collection of Scentsy Bars, please, 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 like any input would be greatly appreciated. And I hope you guys enjoy this journey with me. And who knows, you guys might see some oldie but goodies um, throughout this series. So if you aren't currently, currently subscribed to my channel, if you could please subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. And if you like this type of content that I have on my channel, if you could please hit the notifi notification button so you can always be notified when I post new videos. And believe me, there's going to be a lot of videos of me trying to get through this project Use It Up. So yeah, and then one last question for you guys before I leave. So I feel like I should reward myself as I get through these bars. So any ideas that you guys have on how I could reward myself when I get through a certain amount of bars, I would love to hear your ideas. So um, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks, bye.